Hey guys, this is Justin, your After Shoot tutorial guide. Thanks for choosing this revolutionary culling system to speed up your workflow here. So, I want to go over what happens when you get to your review screen. So here we are, we landed on our final selected images. Um, and so, one workflow we love to encourage is to actually go into your closed eyes and start pulling in any images that you would like to keep that didn't make the cut. Um, so we're going to scroll through here. This is a cute image, uh, this could be one. So you can either use your keyboard shortcuts to change the star rating to make it your selected star rating, um, or you could change the color if you prefer to use colors instead of star ratings. Um, again, with keyboard shortcuts, or you can simply just click on either or. Um, so once we get those all lined up, we can kind of go through and make sure that you know we didn't miss anything uh, that we want to keep in here. Uh, we're just gonna do this one because why not? We'll just add it to our selected images for the sake of the video. Uh, let's do this one too, just because it works. Um, perfect. So what we're going to do uh, next is go into our blurred images and we're going to go through. Now Aftershoot is designed to give you one of everything, right? That's the target behind Aftershoot. We want to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, so the best way to go about it is to go through anything that's not been selected um, and just check it out and see. So in this case, uh, it's letting us know this little dialogue here. There's a better alternative photo that's already been selected. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to scroll through and just see what there wasn't an alternative selected to. So in this case, this is the only photo. And it's definitely out of focus, which is why it's blurred. Um, in the blurred category, I don't want this picture. I can find something better. So I'm going to just leave that, kind of scroll through, see if there's anything else that may be... Uh, didn't get selected that there could be a better version of. All right, so let's see. This didn't get selected. Uh, yeah, it's not in focus. So listen, Aftershoot's doing a good job here. I can't, I can't, neg I can't negate too much of it here. Um, so we're gonna look. Yeah, that's definitely out of focus. Uh, that is pretty out of focus. <laughs> um, all right, so this photo, I, I, I'll make do with this photo. Uh, just bad, poorly exposed photo. Um, so we're going to just change that star rating. We're going to bring that back in. So once you've gone through all your blurs, your blinks, um, you can always go back in and look at all the selected photos now and just kind of do a quick peruse and get rid of anything that you don't necessarily think you need to have uh, in there. So now that we've gotten that done, we'll go over here. We'll click on our selected photos. Um, and so we'll just kind of scroll through. We'll see, like, uh, ooh, hold on, we're going selected. Here we go. Uh, cool. So we're going to go through our selected photos here. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so this photo of the top of his head doing his shoes, I don't care for that. So uh, you can either just delete it by clicking the trash can, um, or you can just click delete, get rid of it. Um, or you can change the rating if you just feel like it's, you know, you, you want to keep it somewhere in here. Like, let's say it's just not, not the one for you. Um, you can always just say, hey, it's a one star photo because nothing's in focus that I wanted. Whatever you decide to do. Um, so you'll also see your warnings here. This will just let you know if there's an image that was selected, but they're not quite sure. Um, you know, we're not quite sure how it all looked. Um, so in this case, it's blurry. Right, it's there's two images. They're both blurry. You can see his face is out of focus in the loop view here, um, in both images. Uh, so these are just not not good photos for for what we want to do. So I can always just go ahead and delete it or change the star rating, like I said. Um, and so that's the fastest way to kind of get through this review screen is just kind of go through and see. Uh, you know, like I said, it's going to give you one of everything. Um, so occasionally you're going to end up with some photos that you probably don't necessarily need. Um, I know for me, I accidentally take pictures from my hip all the time. Um, so I end up with a ton of photos of my feet throughout a wedding day. I use the, the, mat, uh, the hold fast holders and I bang it against my hip and then boom, 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 I got four photos of my feet uh, that I never wanted or never needed. Um, but again, we want to give you one of everything. We don't want to leave you looking for more. Um, so once you've done all of your changes to your after shoot uh, selections, you're going to go ahead and click, all right, here's a good example. There's one shooting from the hip. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, I don't need it. So now I'm going to just click Save Changes. And what that's going to do, it's going to save all of our changes here. That's fantastic. Um, and just so you guys know, we'll dive into this a little bit here. Uh, if you could just click on your Preferences key here, um, you can actually change all your shortcuts so you can navigate through Aftershoot without actually having to click on anything. Um, you can, you know, 
use arrows and spacebar and slashes and equals and escape buttons and whatnot to kind of navigate through in and out of different things. Um, and you can customize those any way you see fit. All right, so let's say we've culled through all of our results and we want to change some things. We want to rerun our cull. Uh, it's pretty easy. You can just click on cull again and you can actually just slide your sliders around and find, uh, you know, different things that you want to do. And that will give you different results. It'll also give you a little estimate down here. So it'd take about eight minutes if I wanted to change settings on this. And so once we've made all of our changes and we feel pretty good about our results, we're going to go ahead and click export. And now what export do, will do, it brings us to the screen. You can either export to Lightroom, export to Capture One, or go ahead and export to a folder, uh, export it manually. So uh, these are your options. If you click uh, export to Lightroom or export to Capture One, it'll actually open up in Lightroom or Capture One and prompt you to import from there. Um, or if you just export to a folder, you can actually just move it to a new folder if you'd like. Uh, and you can move your selected and sneak previews or your duplicates, closed eyes, blurred, all of it. You can copy the photos, move the photos, your choice.